Why Moses was never allowed to enter the Promised Land, Moses liberated the Israelites from 400 years of oppression. He survived snakes, scorpions, and decades of desert wandering. He led his people toward the Promised Land, yet he was not allowed to enter. One moment of frustration cost him everything. Moses was a Hebrew, raised in Egypt. God spoke to him from a burning bush. He instructed Moses to free his people from slavery. Moses went to Pharaoh to demand that he let God's people go. The Pharaoh refused. So God sent plagues on Egypt. There were 10 plagues, like turning the Nile River into blood and sending frogs, flies, and locusts. The last plague was killing all firstborn sons. The Pharaoh agreed to let the Israelites go, but he then changed his mind. He sent his army after them. The Israelites reached the Red Sea and were trapped, but God parted the waters so they could cross. After the Israelites crossed, the waters closed up and drowned the Egyptian army. At Mount Sinai, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. While Moses was on the mountain, the Israelites grew impatient. They built a golden calf idol and began worshiping it. This angered God greatly. He made the Israelites wander the desert for 40 years. The sinful generation had to die off. For 40 years, the Israelites wandered through the Sinai Desert. They followed the pillar of cloud by day and fire by night. They experienced hunger and thirst, but God provided manna and water. Finally, the Israelites reached the Promised Land. It was a new home where they could be free, but God did not allow Moses to enter. Near the end of the 40 years, Moses had disobeyed. The incident took place at the waters of Meribah. The Israelites were restless. They complained to Moses about no water. God instructed Moses to speak to a rock to bring forth water. Frustrated, Moses struck the rock twice instead. Water still flowed, but God was disappointed. Moses did not follow his precise instructions. As punishment, God told Moses, Because you did not trust in me enough to honor me as holy in the sight of the Israelites, you will not bring this community into the land I give them. Numbers 2012, there was deeper symbolism. The rock Moses struck foreshadowed Christ. The Apostle Paul explained, They all ate the same spiritual food and drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank from the spiritual rock that accompanied them, and that rock was Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 to 4, Jesus was struck once and sacrificed for salvation, striking the rock again symbolized crucifying Jesus multiple times. Of course, Moses had no idea. He died on Mount Nebo, overlooking the Promised Land. He was 120 years old. The Israelites mourned his death for 30 days. Then they moved forward. Joshua became the new leader. The Israelites crossed the Jordan River into the Promised Land. They had to conquer the people living there. This took many years and battles. In the end, the Promised Land was divided up among the 12 tribes of Israel.